What's up guys, I'll tune another video and um, I was reading this post this morning Apparently this guy I think his mother had passed and she was in a church that affirmed female pastors right now not only his mother but it was both his parents you know his mother and his father and i think his father still attends that church but uh, his mother you know she i she must have recently passed i i you know i didn't i didn't really get into the whole uh thread um, I, I did read his initial comment, but I know that there are people like commenting on the thread and Facebook, you know, it's a bunch of comments and stuff like that. So I didn't read all of those posts to, to see, to get, you know, some more intricate details. But anyway, that's, you know, that's not really the point of this video is to talk about that particular situation, but to simply ask the question, and that is, uh, could a person and actually this was this person's question was could a person be believing in false doctrine or false teachings and still be saved right and I know that uh, on Brother Berean's channel I know that he's been talking about that uh, you know quite often like can a person have some type of sense of or believe in a false doctrine or believe in some false teachings and they can die and could they still be saved you know like could that be um you know like is that a factor when it comes to salvation and i and i think it's a really good question that a lot of us you know we don't um we don't ask you know what i'm saying and i think that this is very important because this can kind of go both ways, you know, on the one hand, you can have a person who will say, well, hey, I'm not going to change what I believe about this particular doctrine or this particular teaching, although it's false, although people have told me that it's false, you know, I'm just still going to believe in it because it just makes me feel comfortable. And then you just have some people who are just totally ignorant to it um, and not ignorant in, in the sense to where they reject the true teachings but they just don't know right for instance like you know my great grandmother right she um, professing Christian you know um, probably one of the most Christian people that I knew when I was you know when I was a kid she died when I was like 11 but I remember in her house she had statues of buddha the fat buddha you know what i'm saying and uh and she had elephants all over the place so right so it seems like that she had two different type of religious idols in in her house you know she had a couple of buddha statues um and then she she loved elephants you know what i'm saying i mean she had elephants all over the place and um, a lot of people who are familiar with Hinduism, they know that elephants are kind of held in kind of like high regard, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, she went to a Baptist church and, um, you know, and back then I can't remember whether or not the pastor was preaching everything uh, biblical or if he was preaching, I mean, just sound orthodox Christian teachings but um, what I can say is that when it came to my came to my great grandmother and her teaching you know um, she taught us stuff that was biblically sound and you know she was just one of the most nicest fairest people that you would know you know when she spoke that Bible um, even I remember some of the t some of the things that she would say you know what I'm saying and just trying to rear me as a child and not being angry because I remember there was times to where people would do stuff to me and I would just get like really really angry and I would just lash out 
and I was always a vengeful person and she used to always teach me that you know vengeance is the Lord's you know like not to go out and and, and uh, look for revenge or if somebody makes me mad or somebody you know gets me upset to not lash out um, to always show grace you know things of that nature but uh, you know she died in 93 and when, if someone was to ask me, do I believe that that woman was saved? I would undoubt, undoubtedly say yes. Um, you know, and to be honest, I don't know if she would have uh, uh, the, the same view of scripture. Well, I wouldn't say the same view of scripture. I think I believe that she, she believed that uh, scripture was sufficient. Um, but some of the little secondary things that, that that I may know like for instance um predestination right you know a lot of you guys know that I believe in like predestination um I agree with the five points of Calvinism or um what a lot of us like to say is the uh, doctrines of God's sovereign grace and election right so I don't know if she had those type of views but, you know, to me, that's a secondary issue. And I don't think that that is something that is contingent upon a person's salvation, right? Um, and also at the same time, you know, she died in like 93. So she didn't have access to a lot of the information that I have today, you know, the internet and all of this stuff. So when I think about it, um, I believe that God knows a person's heart and he, he knows a person's intentions. You know, I believe that a person who's living out in Africa, um, who may not have access to the internet and they may not, you know, know who Charles Spurgeon is or John Calvin or, you know, um, any of these other guys. And they may have certain practices and they may have certain rituals and tradition that may be unbiblical. Um, but based on their ignorance, they may not, they may hold to a certain type of belief about the Bible. And I believe that it may be a secondary thing, but you know, to us Western folk who have, <laughs> you know, access to a lot of information, we may say, well, hey, that's actually a false teaching. That's actually a false doctrine. Um, you know, we may say to each other, hey, you know, you may want to stray away from that. You know, you may want to repent from that type of teaching or that type of doctrine and, and basically go from there. But when you have a person who lives in a certain area and they don't have access to that information, if that person was to die believing in those false teachings, would that person go to hell right would they be damned to hell and i believe that god operates with us based on our own knowledge right based on the information that we are exposed to so i believe that a person who dies um who may believe in a false doctrine based on the information that is granted to them um, I don't think that that person is necessarily going to go to hell for that. I believe that a person whose eternity is in danger is a person who sees the information, they listens to the information, and they have a choice to accept it or reject it. And a person who rejects the truth, who've heard the truth and they rejected it, then that person is uh, subject to... Um, hell if they are a person who rejects the truth of Jesus Christ right so let's just let's just address a big elephant in the room right you guys know that we on my channel I've addressed people like the Hebrew Israelites now do I believe that that a person could be claiming to be a Hebrew Israelite and they could be in that in those false teachings and could that person still be saved that's a pretty tough question, right? Um, I believe that that is possible, that a person who is a Hebrew Israelite just ignorantly following, right? If, if it's a person who may have come out of a weak church and 
Hebrew Israelism may be may have led them to actually start reading the Bible and to understand uh, God's grace and God's sovereignty and stuff like that. But let's just throw out a scenario, right? Let's just say if you got a guy um, who's who's probably been in church the majority of his life, right? He's 30 years old and, um, you know, he was probably in a weak church up until that point. And then he ends up becoming a Hebrew Israelite, right? He, but he's actually in the Bible and he's reading and he's studying scripture. Let's just say, you know, maybe a year or two into this thing, he dies, right? And he hasn't encountered anyone like me or, you know, some other sound, biblical, believing Christian who's actually uh, able to correct him in the errors of Hebrew Israelism. Let's just say he dies before he meets anyone like that. Um, but he has had a heart to uh, follow God's word, to want to get to know who God is. And maybe by him becoming a Hebrew Israelite was leading him on that path. Um, I believe that that person could be saved, right? Because of that person's heart. Let's just say on the other hand, let's on the flip side of that, you had a person, same scenario, same age, 30 years old, you know, um, came out of a weak church, became a Hebrew Israelite, but let's just say he ran into a person like me who said, hey, listen, that Hebrew Israelism that you're in, there's a lot of problems with it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that stuff is, uh, it goes against the teachings of Christ, of the, the teachings that Christ have put forward, things that we can just read in the Bible. And if I pointed that person to scripture and I said, listen, this is the reason why Hebrew Israelism is false, because if it's true, it basically says that Christ is a liar, right? Now, if that person decides that they, they want to remain ignorant and they don't want to take heed to the information that I'm giving them about Christ, if they totally reject that and they want to continue to stay in Hebrew Israelism for whatever reason, although they have access to the knowledge and they just refused it, then that person is not saved. If that person died rejecting the knowledge of Christ, then that person would end up in hell. You see what I'm saying? A perfect example of this is when you had the two guys that were on the cross. You know what I'm saying? The thief and the murderer that was on the cross. And um, I think it was the thief who uh, who recognized who Jesus was. In the final hour, was getting ready to die. This is a man who probably rejected the teachings of God all his life. And he was on a, he was on the cross. And he recognized who Christ was right before he died. And what happened? He got admitted into the kingdom of God and probably based on his ignorance throughout his whole life you know he's never probably really had any teachings of the Messiah knowing who the Messiah was and he never really had that exposure to Christ but then when he finally was met face to face with Christ he recognized who he was and he came to the faith and you know we should be seeing that guy in heaven. But the other guy, the murderer, he wanted to remain ignorant. You know what I'm saying? And by him remaining ignorant, he ended up in hell. And I believe that that was a prime example of what we see today. Of the issues that, 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 or I'll probably say this particular topic where you do have a person, um, you have two types of people, people who full on reject the truth and people who are willing to accept it. You know what I'm saying? And I bring all of this up because um, this is why one of the reasons why I do what I do, right? Because I want people to understand the truth. I want people to understand the word of God. And I don't want some, I don't want to see anyone in hell. Like seriously, I know that, that, you know, sometimes I can make content that's pretty straightforward. I can have conversations with people that's pretty straightforward. But I don't want to see, I honestly don't want to see anyone in hell, especially not anyone that I know. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we have to continue to preach the truth in season, out of season, whether it's going to make somebody um, 
you know, comfortable or uncomfortable. You know, this is what we have to do. This is what we've been called to do as Christians. And that's why we have to take our resources. Those who may, those of us who may know a little bit more than the average person about the Bible, right? You know, we have to be able to break that down. We have to be able to take our knowledge and be able to uh, spread that knowledge to people who may be ignorant about what the Bible teaches. And I'm not talking about whether somebody, you know, whether or not somebody needs to be, uh, you know, a Calvinist or whether or not I believe that, you know, pedo baptism is wrong or whatever, you know, all of those secondary issues. Um, but when it comes to the truth of Christ, and this is another reason why me, myself, why I don't pull any punches when it comes to the Hebrew Israelism thing. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of you have probably heard me say in the past that I don't believe that Hebrew Israelites are saved. Now, I have changed my position uh, based on what I just said earlier about if a person is really seeking God and they are a Hebrew Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're a Hebrew Israelite and you're watching this right now, um, I'm not talking about you. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about those who may be a Hebrew Israelite who... Are totally oblivious to my channel they've never heard or seen any of the teachings that <clears throat> me or my like people like me or people uh, who have the the same line of teaching right they've never run into a person like me who has tried to correct them on their hebrew uh israelite belief the people who are exposed to my channel who constantly come to my channel you have been exposed to the truth and just like these people who are in the conscious community and all of that you've been exposed to the truth so you know what the truth is you openly reject it so that's why i don't believe that people who have been exposed to the truth especially people who come and they watch my channel all the time and they constantly want to you know go back and forth with me you know what i'm saying about the scriptures that are plainly laid out those who reject the truth are in danger of spending an eternity in hell. But those who I, who I probably have not even met yet, who may just be getting into some of these teachings like the conscious community or Hebrew Israelism or something like that, who's really searching, really looking for the truth. You know what I'm saying? And they haven't been exposed to sound biblical teaching. If those people were to die... Um, I don't think that those people would be subjected to hell if they have um, a heart to know who the true God is, you know, because we were, a lot of us were all there at one point, you know, there was times where I wasn't even saved, you know what I'm saying? And I could have died in my sin. Um, but I'm glad that the Lord was able to open my eyes to who he was and what truth is. So, um, I say all of that to say is that, you know, sometimes I think we got to be careful about, um, we have to understand, you know, I think a lot of us are careful for the most part, but I think we have to understand that there are some people, um, you know, who may not have certain teachings, um, who may not be exposed to certain information and, you know, um, the Lord may grant them into heaven. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't preach the gospel. No, we're supposed to continue to preach that gospel, no matter what. But um, but a person who hears and they totally reject Christ, those are the people who are in danger. So, but anyway, guys, I'm getting ready to wrap this video up. Um... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. You know, do you guys believe that a person uh, could, you know, um, a person is saved no matter what, you know, whether they hear the truth or not, you know, a person could be something like a Hebrew Israelite or a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon, you know, although they've heard the truth, that they can still be in the kingdom of, uh, of God, even if they die rejecting what uh, an evangelical has showed them in the Bible to be true? Or do you happen to believe that, you know, God is God is going to judge a person's heart? You know, it's really not up to us to judge. But at the end of the day, if a person has been exposed to the truth 
and they reject it, and that is what they're going to. That's what they're going to be judged on on Judgment Day, uh, rejecting the the truth of Christ. Anyway, you guys, let me know uh, what you think in the comment section below. As always, like this video, rate it, share it, subscribe, and you guys have a blessed day.